Here we are with your torque. Torque fifth wheel up in the front compartment. You got your 12 volt battery. On the right side of that, you're gonna have your generator. Generator, you pull out the front cap. You got two breakers here, make sure they're on. Otherwise, your generator's not gonna power up your trailer. Prime it, push and hold, and then push and hold start for about two seconds, and then it should fire up. Right to the right of that, you got a toggle switch. This toggle switch is gonna control the lights right on the front of your cap. They're gonna be the LED lights. Right on the side of torque. You have them on each side. Here's gonna be the uh, control panel for your your, your uh, leveling system. Um, you have two. This is gonna be the the one up in front. Right now, if, um, you got no green light. Push and hold on up and down for three seconds. Now you got a green light. Now, without touching anything, you're you're controlling the front legs. Push and hold to control. Then, when your truck is moved out of the way, you're gonna hit auto level. Auto level will bring down all your jacks. Now, hitch height will bring it to where it was right before you hit auto level. Now, after your camper is hooked up to your trailer, you're going to hit retract all. After your camper is hooked up to your truck, my apology. Um, it'll automatically time out. The VIN could be right on the pad driver front, as well as uh, PSI and your for your tires. Um, you got two 30 pound LP tanks, regulators on the passenger side. Here's here's the other part to your leveling system. This you want to play with. This you can break it down to controlling each individual jack. Um, then you'll just hit the square to time it out. Right to the right is going to be the inlet for your water. Here you're gonna put water. Uh, city fixtures. You're gonna be using the water off the water uh, water hose. Tank fill is gonna be the uh, fill in the tank on the unit. Then to use that water, you're gonna have it at dry camping. Very pointed at the bottom is gonna be putting in winterization into the system. Outdoor shower, as well as your exhaust gets extremely hot. Um, cable connections, satellite connection. Um, then right here is going to be your black tank flush. When you're d at a dump station, dumping your black tank and your valves are open. So your valves are going to be here. Your connection is going to be there. Um, don't power up that black tank flush until you're at a dump station. Walk to the driver rear. black tank flush for the rear bathroom. The poles for the rear bathroom are going to be right here. So for your generator as well as your auxiliary, auxiliary gas, um, you're going to use it out of one tank. The pump is going to be right to the left. The auxiliary uh, handheld nozzle is going to be in there. It's going to be a 50 amp hookup. Um, these are going to be little vents. There's going to be one on each side just in case you have a side-by-side -side four wheeler that gets a little wet or motorcycle. Um, then it won't give that uh, that moist smell. Um, the back has an awning. I'll, I'll show you uh, the switch for that inside. This back door leads to the garage. There is another vent. Outdoor entertainment. You have a light switch here. Turn those lights off. You have outdoor stove as well as the TV. This fridge won't work unless you're connected to uh, to the actual shore power. Walking up to the front, water heater, big pass through the water heater bypass. Here you have a 50 to 30 amp, 30 to or, yeah, 30 to 15 amp, sorry. Sewer hose. Um, the other 30 LP tank is going to be on this side. Your regulator um, it's going to be right here. Yeah. The regulator on the top. 
point it to the back. You'll use the pet driver's side tank, point it to the front, you'll use the other tank. Now we're gonna go inside your unit. Inside your unit here, you're gonna have your control panel right in this door. But you won't be able to access this control panel when your unit's closed. So when your unit's all closed up, you have a slide out switch here, right by the main door, that's going to allow this big slide to open up. When that opens up, then you're able to get to this one. So we'll turn off the AC so you can hear me better. On the control your AC and heat, you'll just hit, you'll hit the power button, the off, I'll turn off here in a second. Any switches you see around your camper that aren't labeled are lights. So all these are lights. Um, the very top one is going to be your air antenna. You can also start your generator from it inside. These are going to be buttons showing your levels. So levels of, of your unit. Water pump, water heater, the gas side, the electric side for your water heater. So slide out room here, when you're bringing your slide out in, one's going to bring in the master bed, one's going to bring in the framing of it. So you'll bring it in, make sure when you're bringing it in, all of those closet doors are shut. And the other one will control the framing. Make sure your doors are open when you're bringing the slide out in. Um, You do have awning powered here, as well as a light for the awning. Here in the master bedroom, you have washer and dryer hookup inside the corner closet, uh, TV hookup, master, master bedroom, master bathroom, pretty self-explanatory for our main bathroom. Um, in the kitchen, TV, best indicator if you have shore power is going to be in your microwave. If your microwave is lit up, you get at least 30 amps. Stove top here, stove top, you're going to turn it over to the little flame symbol. And then you'll use the igniter on the left side, and you'll just click it. Just turn it, and it'll, it'll ignite it. Um, radio here. It's going to be zone B, it's going to be outside, zone A, it's going to be inside. Now we're going to go into the garage. Remember, there's two light switches. No, nothing on them, those are lights. Now you have the, the bathroom in the garage, the second bathroom. Shows your levels in the bathroom, push and hold. And the button here, lights for the bathroom. Now to bring down your bed, you got to use bed control. So this awning is going to be for the back, very back over your porch. Bed control, you got to have your, your couch all the way up. You got to pull that pin at each corner. And then you'll lower both of them together. The bed will stop about halfway. There's your power cord, as well as steps for your porch. Um, all the, these are lights here. I um, think that completes our video. Thank you.